this one. Um, there were a lot of like open spaces here yeah. that had little look like organisms in them. And um, when I think of that, like the most common thing I think of would be like leishmaniasis, but you could also have like histoplasmosis, which would be less common in the skin. So I'd probably favor leishmaniasis. Well, I suppose it depends on where you live. Where, yeah, I don't know, maybe not here, but where I used, to, again, where I used to practice in Arkansas, I saw histo in the skin, I don't know, maybe not often is not the right word, but multiple times. And a uh, leash, the only case I ever saw was one sent to me as a consult from like a soldier returning from the Middle East. So kind of, again, the incidence changes depending on what your patient population is like. I think you're totally right when you see spaces in the dermis, a bunch of histiocytes and neutrophils, but, but you see spaces in the dermis filled with little small tiny dots of organism, little tiny round dots. The two main things to think of is leishmaniasis and histoplasmosis. And people say, oh, you can tell them apart because one thing, Leash tends to do this. It lines up around the outside of these vacuoles, right? People call this the marquee sign, like the lights around the sign on an old-timey movie theater, um, I guess, or a like a Ferris wheel, right? Whatever you're into. Um, whereas you're supposed to not see that as much in histo. I have seen histo that did this, though, okay? Maybe not quite this good, but the point is, is I don't personally feel like that alone is a reliable way to tell them apart with, with certainty, okay? The uh, other thing is that you're supposed to see kinetoplast. Now, there ain't no way you're seeing a kinetoplast on this scan slide, but I'll tell you what, even in the best circumstance, I cannot definitively see a kinetoplast on a 40x view on my microscope. I'm admitting it right now. What someone told me, Bobby Pritt, um, Dr. Bobby Pritt, who's an infectious disease pathologist at Mayo Clinic, really smart. Her name is also Parasite Gal online. You can follow her on Twitter and Instagram. And she's got a wonderful blog about parasites and infections. Um, so she said that usually the kinetoplast, you need oil, 100x oil to immersion to see. And she uh, also mentioned there's a stain that you can do that has like a, it's a variation of H&E that has silver addition to it that makes the kinetoplast stand out. Other times people also talk about Gimsa as being positive. Gimsa is a stain like that's used in the right Gimsa stain and heme path. And so it's um, um, that Gimsa will make these stain, but also Dr. Pritt uh, helped. I learned this all from Twitter from her. So see, this is one of the reasons I use Twitter is I teach, but I also learn from it. Um, that she said that Gimsa really works best on smears. In some parts of the world where leash is very common, like the Middle East, the it, it's easier to just cut the lesion open and smear some of the exudate onto a slide and then you know do a basically you're doing a touch prep kind of cytology preparation and look for organisms and she said that that gimsa works best there does not work as well on tissue sections so i thought that was good i'll also tell you one of the best things that i found is do a gms stain which to my knowledge should not stain leishmaniasis but also histo which looks very much like leash Suddenly, when you do GMS, it changes. You can see that there are little tiny organisms about the same size, but they're little, they have budding. And leash shouldn't have budding, again, as far as I know. I've not seen tons of cases of leash, but the, I find that GMS has taken cases that I thought looked really like leash, and then suddenly they look much more like histo once I stain them with GMS. Um, so I find that to be uh, quite helpful. But yeah, that's your main differential is leash and histo. And of course, you can do culture. Histo will culture out. Leash will not. You can look at the history, travel history, and where the person's from. Um, there's antigen tests to test for histo that you can do, I think, on urine and maybe on blood. I'm not sure. So there's a variety of other ancillary techniques. But the main thing is when you see little holes with small round dots, histo and leishmaniasis. In this case, it was leishmaniasis.